your stuff. Just don't go, go away. This oh. black void is very suspicious. Oh my God. People coming from everywhere. From everywhere. <laughs> right on schedule. start with you mr pitt uh i mean one thing that's kind of cool about this movie and it's in a, in a kind of meta way is to see you working with david leach again with both this movie and deadpool 2 after having just made once upon a time in hollywood where you're obviously playing a stuntman i'm curious if that is kind of just a confluence of the universe or if that's something that was on your mind confluence of the universe now it was super yeah. super cool um no working with leach was like it was just i mean this is his story is like Unprecedented. I mean, I don't know of anyone who came from the stunt world has worked their way up to to this kind of status of director. And he certainly developed his own like his own language, and that was really cool to see. But yeah, we we met on Fight Club, and we worked all the way up to Mr. Mrs. Smith, and he had these aspirations, and here he is. So for me, it was really it was really cool to see how far he's come and 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 be a part of his thing now, his vision. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. Doesn't get simpler. I mean, how open was, obviously he has such extensive experience. I mean, how open was he to collaboration and your ideas on the spot? Um, yeah, he listening to all actors ideas and then his ideas and then mixed together and yeah, so creative. So, um, yeah, just that's great. Great collaborate on set, um, and including yeah. other cast, Dave. Yeah, it was so much fun. Who going to want to hear the whole story? Did the two of you know each other? Because I mean, you have some shared credits with, I think, Speed Racer and The Wolverine. Did you have the chance to work together on those projects? Yeah. Uh, I worked with him before, so very easy to communicate. And then, yeah, we respect each other. So, yeah, it was fun. Everything that's ever happened to you has led you here. Fate. That's a shit deal. Totally. And, and to speak about just that vision and just the kind of the, the magic that he works with the action, I mean, one of the cool natural elements of this story is just the fact that you're inside of a train, which is such a contained space, which dictates such cool physicality. But I also have to imagine that for all three of you, it's not necessarily the easiest environment to like throw punches in. Well, I mean, I think I think that kind of adds actually, um, I, I like when there's boundaries and limitations, because then you can then you use the environment and uh, around you. And I think that's what we did. And I think David Leach wanted us to lean into that, I think. And then it just adds layers. I mean, these two just had a, such an incredible um, fight sequence, you know, in in a contained space against each other around the table, but in the quiet car. And then that adds another lemon, uh, element. So they got to keep their keep everything quiet and so it's just you know that comedy and uh, uh with the action is, is such a good balance you sure you want to talk this out not particularly no uh, okay yeah when you are able well, to work within boundaries and then work with someone who like brad who doesn't respect any boundaries huh? uh, <laughs> it, it creates it creates this whole kind of amazing visual element Go on. of yeah. things uh -huh. Kazi, you know what I'm right. saying like you you really like try to figure out how to work within the confines of, of of you know fighting on a train and killing somebody with a train table and like beating someone's ass with an armrest and you know it it become it, it turns out to be one of the most fun crazy like um like theme parks you've ever been a part of right like you're like how is the camera going to get through down this aisle how are we going to like hide in this toilet <laughs> like it's all it's all kinds of fun thing that's just a testimony to david leach and his imagination he's brilliant Oh yeah, sometimes difficult because so narrow, and then so many people in the train. Uh, but for me, just it was fun and, and easy to collaborate with the stunt guys or coordinator, and then especially uh, director David uh, knows about action very well, so easy to collaborate and then create the uh, 
interesting, um, unique choreograph together easily. So sure. I had so much fun every day on set. What's waiting for us in Kyoto? The White Death with his army of assassins. I don't see the White Death letting any of us off this train. And just, I mean, this movie was made during kind of in development during summer and the fall of 2020. What did that do just as far as rehearsal time and preparation? Was it a lot different than your normal experience? Um, just yeah, during rehearsal, we wore the mask, of course, and then take a COVID test three times a week or more, sometimes more. But, uh, you know, it was a little scared because we didn't have any vaccination at that time. So we had to respect and believe in each other, helping each other. Uh, that kind of things created a good teamwork. So yeah, we could use that in the movie, I believe. We need to come up with a plan. And I mean, to talk a bit about the future also, I mean, you have a very exciting project coming up in the form of John Wick 4, uh, reuniting you with Keanu Reeves. I mean, can you just talk about what that experience has been like and just prepare audiences to what to, for what to expect? Yeah, uh, I worked with Keanu before uh, 47 Ronin, almost like 10 years ago. So he was a great reunion. And then we have that kind of history in the real life so we could use that kind of atmosphere or chemistry into the movie so that kind of relationship in the movie too so that's a biggest hint <laughs> <laughs> nice that's exciting there's nothing simple about this job there's something else going on here yeah I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. I, I gotta get off this train.